Right, so here we are back down the dairy farm once again. Now, hopefully you guys aren't getting bored with this scenario. Well, I'm certainly not because there seems to be plenty of stuff to shoot down here. So I've come down yet again uh, to sit in the yard and see if I can knock over a few of the crows and the pigeons and that that are coming in feeding on the maize there. I brought with me the Day State Delta Wolf. Nice little rifle this and very, very accurate. So I'm hoping that with that, uh, tucked into the barn again, I should be able to uh, get another morning of some good sport. Now this rifle is just a 12 foot pound, or sub 12 foot pound I should say, air rifle. It's in 177, so not FAC, nothing like that. Doesn't need to be when we're shooting um, this close within the farmyard. In fact, an air rifle like this is just the perfect tool for the job for farmyard pest control. So I've got this kitted up with actually a night scope. This is the Pulsar uh, Digex, the C50. It's uh, got a coloured day screen, which is the main reason I've fitted it on there. So although I can take it out after dark as well, I'm going to be using it primarily with the colour day screen just to get some uh, some shots through the scope itself so you get a bit of scope cam action. Um, yeah, so fully charged, full of air, ready to go. Let's go have a look. I'm quite surprised that silly bugger sat there that long. He was only about 25 metres from me, he was just sat up on the garage and uh, he'd obviously seen me, but oh well. That's a good start to the, to the bag anyway, pigeon down. Just like that, magpie down. So I've oddly been here a couple of minutes and straight away a magpie dropped in off the roof as they always seem to do, which is perfect because it means they they sort of fly down and they got their back to me and they land, so it gives me a chance to get onto them. And he just landed on top of the maze there and then uh, he was like he was wandering around on the top and I couldn't quite see him. And then he walked round and uh, come back towards me. And I thought he'd seen me, so I just quickly put a shot into him straight in the middle of the chest. And he's gone straight down on the top of the maze there. All right, see what else comes along. The farmer's tried using a bird scare here, but the birds quickly get used to this and straight back on the maze. He's also tried a gas cannon, which has limited effect. It moves them on for five, ten minutes, and then they're straight back again.
lejos, tío. It's quite surprising how even a little 177 pellet can do quite considerable damage to that magpie. That's put a big hole in the front of the chest on that. You get that much about that. Well that crow just landed on top of the container there and he was sat there looking round. Bosh, have that. So I'm using the uh, Sovereign Range Masters here. These are the 8.44 grains, 177s. Very accurate little pellet though in this, this rifle. Yeah, uh, farmers heading down to do a bit of work in the farmyard. With the amount of holes that the birds have pecked through the cover on this maze, the farmers having to replace it. This will probably take a bit of time, make a bit of noise, so I think I'm going to move on. With everything going on in the farmyard, I think I'm going to stay well clear, have a little look in this wood, see if I can find a squirrel. really difficult trying to walk through this wood because the uh, the floor is completely carpeted with dead and dry leaves we haven't had a lot of rain lately so uh, yeah it's just made it like walking through a bowl of Rice Krispies
well that's turned out to be quite a nice mixed bag this morning so i hope you've enjoyed the episode please subscribe and thanks for watching if you aren't a member of basque it's time to join now basque looking after your sport looking after you